What's up, everybody? Disco to Monica Hydroponic. Uh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> trying to do like the whole Ron Burgundy. Thanks for stopping by. But uh, so uh, let me see. I've been. I normally when I get questions, uh, normally they're questions and they have kind of a similar. Uh, they're either one or another kind of question. They're either like, "How do I do this?" Like they people generally like, "How can I do this? How would I do that? How do I do this?" Uh, which are sometimes, you know, can be intrusive because, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of times, you know, uh, I'll give stuff, but a lot of it is also, you know, like how you're going to do this may be different from the way I'm going to do this. So I encourage you to follow that as well as, uh, there are questions that go with, can I do this? Like, can I do this with La Santa Muerte? Or is this okay if I do that? Um, uh, uh, uh a lot of those to me i feel those are based on fear uh and fear is something that has uh, obviously been propagated by the church propagated by different uh, systems uh and basically i would say approach everything with respect and uh don't follow systems that don't have anything to do with you every system has like its own like you know unique essence to it and if you stick with the system and you follow the system you can get a lot of you can do a lot of really powerful good magic you know uh and actually the spirits involved in the system would be pretty appreciative of that uh you know so obviously if spirits start coming to you then fucking work with them that's cool uh that's what i do uh but uh i've had several spirits like say from like uh, uh hoodoo come to me or voodoo come to me but i am not a voodoo practitioner you know but i i don't tell people yeah, just yeah. To, I don't start giving classes on how to work with them. I I I thank them for coming to me, and then I s try to see what it is they want to show or teach me, and then that basically that that's what I what I do with that, that kind of information. So if you ever get to a point where spirits are approaching you, uh, cool, but that doesn't make you a certain practitioner or a blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Uh, cause I know that voodoo is a, it's a religion, it's a closed practice. I am not a voodoo practitioner. Um, and I don't think that I ever could be. So also then we have, um, so the, those are like the, like if you, so I respect that though, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I like. If you respect certain beliefs and systems, then it's, you be okay. Like if you're a Norse practitioner, like I'm not a Norse practitioner. If I have a entity that comes from me from the Norse pantheon, I will work with that entity and I will get to know that entity uh, and, and I will speak of my personal experience with that entity, specifically what I'm allowed to share that I, when I convey, uh, when I speak with that entity, like, what can I share? Can I share this? And they say, no, it's no. Uh, if they say yes, then it's yes. And normally what I'll do is I'll ask them for specific like stuff that I can share. Right. Uh, uh, but that, that does not make me uh, a Norse practitioner. Like, I don't even know terminologies. Like I'm not, a uh, uh, Viking or in any kind of way, I don't re associate myself with that in any kind of way. You know, you know. So uh, that's the kind of things that, when it comes to the fear aspect, you know, if you're see if they're coming to you and you're like, "Can I do this?" If they came to you, I would say yes. There's something there. However, that does not make you a um, Norse or Voodoo or Santeria practitioner. You know what I'm saying? I've had several Orishas come to me. And I work. I love the Orishas. I think they're awesome. I work with them, but I am not a Santero. I am not a uh, because those are uh, uh, different practices that incorporate the Orisha, uh, the Orishas. Uh, so uh, I do not claim to be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think it's in my lineage because I think I, sp I made a video where my grandmother came to me in a dream, telling me that she was Oshun. So, but before that, I had never tried to. Uh, connect with Oshun in any kind of way. Um, uh, I feel that demonic entities are more open to working with anybody as opposed to other entities when it comes to certain uh, pantheons, right? Uh, because they, they're they cross-pantheonic, if that's even a fucking term. But they will, they're, they're in several different pantheons. They just really, they're gangsters. They don't give a fuck. It's like, whatever, let's do this, you know? <laughs> like, oh, you want to learn how to do this? I, you know, so uh, they will fuck you up. And then you come out the other side, you know, it's just like, you know, being in a gang, they beat the shit out of you. Then you remember, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's kind of what it is. <clears throat> but, uh, uh, yeah. 
so those are the kind of questions I get. So I would say when you, uh, mainly, those are the kind of questions I get. I don't even know why I'm making this fucking video. But, um, yeah, just kind of um, look at it like that. Are, 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 what is your question based on? You know, I also get people who ask questions like they want money. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you want money? Uh, go learn how to invest. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, uh, because this is a spiritual practice. You can, they will help you uh, get money. You know what I'm saying? But if that's all that you want, you just want uh, abundance, and just because you change the name of the way that you refer to money, they're not, they're, you know, they will help you if you're, you have to put in the work. You know what I'm saying? You have to put in work with them and they'll bless you with certain things. Things that you need. Sometimes you know that you need these things. Sometimes that you don't know that you need these things. Uh, so there is no money. Um, working that's going to just make you a fucking millionaire or anything like that because if there were every black magician on youtube would be a fucking millionaire because <laughs> after a certain point we've all kind of like even myself i still like if i see somebody out there that's like i have never seen before i'm like cool let me see what they gotta say you know i, I i'm always learning always listening to people and uh so i would say man you know just um take a look at your question and uh, what is generating that question? You know, is it greed? Is it because you know if you work try to work with demons, based upon the question, that's the kind of energy you're gonna get back. Is it based upon fear? Um, is it based upon like, pure like you really want to know and you want it because you want to get to know these entities? You basically want to reach a point where you can communicate with them so you can ask them the questions yourself, right? So that's what I try to do. I try to help people get there. Um, but also, uh, yeah, just keep in mind that, um, where, where is your question coming from? Like what is happening? I think when I first, uh, became a, a an occultist, like I was really looking into healing, uh, because I didn't, um, not that I was afraid of death, but it was because, uh, the dying part <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> you know, I was in the hospital, I was on my deathbed and, uh, it was it was really fucked up <laughs> and uh so that's the part that i didn't like like if i would have just died it would have been like okay cool you know fucking i'm dead we'll just see what happens next but i didn't and so living like that was was bad you know it fucking sucked and it took a while to grow from that uh that took, took uh several years and i feel like you know i've gotten to a really good point um wow now that i think about it man i've gotten past a lot of shit that the doctors were even telling me that you are not going to live past this amount of time. I surpassed that by many fold. Um, I was told that I had to take medicine for the rest of my life. I haven't taken, uh, and I'm not encouraging you to do this. Okay. This is my personal journey. If you're taking meds, the doctor tells you to take meds, take them. But, um, I've gotten to a point where I don't even take the meds that I, that I was prescribed to take. I'm in better health than I have been in, in a, and, um, I would say even before I got sick to a certain degree because I was on the streets, man. But, um, fuck, <laughs> I was on the streets. But uh, basically, and I still have a long way to go. You know, I still have a lot to learn, a lot to go, uh, a lot to, uh, get, to get through still. And I understand that. Um, and I understand also that money, though, is important. It's not like... Um, that's the only thing that has, that, uh, motivates me, you know, it, it cannot be the only thing that motivates you. It, it, Cause I'm, but so I'm saying if you, the, all that's motivating you is money, uh, instead of being an occultist, hire another occultist to do some money magic for you. And then, um, and, or learn how to invest money or get a better job. Basically, you know what I'm saying? That's basically your choices. Uh, and, and I, I know it sounds, it'll probably feel rude to some people, but Hey man, it is what it is. The spirits are not going to fucking help you if you're just like, yo, gimme, gimme, gimme. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you have to put in the work. That's definitely part of it. You have to put in the work. So I'm sorry. Now I'm on this trip. I'm just thinking about where I came from. Like a lot of the, one of the things that helped me survive, um, through a lot of what I was going through was, um, I could think back and tell myself <clears throat> this time like last month I was no, it wasn't even a month it's like let's say like this time 
uh, three, four, five months ago, I was on my deathbed. So that would actually um, motivate me to move forward because uh, I was like, I'm beating this, you know, and I was beating this. And <clears throat> and then uh, then it got to a point where it was like several months. And then it got to a point like this time last year, like this time last year, I, I couldn't do what I was doing, you know, and this was just uh, everything that I would do that was uh, that I could link to my old life before um, before the dying aspect was coming through was just like this huge big deal for me. I remember when I was able to play guitar and sing and get through a whole song uh, because like I went to a point where they had they actually uh, my lungs had were smaller. I couldn't breathe as well as I had before, and I still kind of get little little things like that where I got to kind of take a breath. But um, uh, I remember when I first did that, the, I think it was uh, a Leonard Skinner song. Yeah. <laughs> but that's why, like, to me, like, I used to like to sing before, and now it's like I do it because it reminds me not only of what I used to be, what I've been through, and then what I am now. Uh, so it's my connection. And if you ever go to a cemetery and you're singing, spirits love that shit. They, they will tell you to sing. Like, I've had... Spirits follow me around the cemetery and say, like, sing more, sing, sing, and I'll just start singing. So, uh, yeah, but, uh, again, I don't know why I was just kind of had a couple of thoughts. I, I've, I've gotten several questions, and they all seem to kind of have, like, a certain premise, an underlying premise, you know. Uh, and uh, I'm not saying that everybody wants shortcuts, but it, it helps, uh, people i don't know deal with certain issues i think if they feel that like shortcuts are presented to them but these shortcuts aren't really shortcuts these are just ways that we've learned that i have learned to um to work through certain things that may get you there faster so you don't have to struggle not with the actual process itself you still have to struggle with the process the shortcuts are more based upon like what I had to go through to begin the process, uh, what I had to go through to, to get through the gatekeeping, uh, the bullshit, the way that the, the uh, tomes or the books are written. Some of them are where like the information is hidden and it trips you up on purpose, you know, like uh, uh, just to fuck with you and you know, shit like that. Uh, so and honestly, that's why I started my channel was just to get through all that shit uh, and to teach people like the right way, you know. There were several videos I think that I saw where, uh, when I was just starting out, where people were like talking about, and I said this with meditation videos. Let's let's start with meditation video. Uh, so they would just give this like cookie cutter way to do meditations, and and that was it. They wouldn't go into detail like what was going on, and what happens if you get an itch, what happens if this happens, what happens if this happens. So it seems like they they were just trying to get on here just to. To get views or whatever, and it, they were just saying the same bullshit that everybody else was saying uh, before them, you know. And I honestly had to do a lot of research, a lot of practice, a lot of meditation, a lot of uh, self-reflection. Uh, there are things you're gonna, your mind is gonna fuck with you, you know. Uh, not like in a crazy way most of the time, but um, you know, you're, you're gonna. There's certain things you have to get through, and uh, and that takes time. It's not, there's no short, shortcuts to that. So uh, the only shortcuts that I will provide are things that I have done and actually worked for me. And hopefully they will work for you. Um, so, and if they don't, you know, just hopefully they give you some sort of insight in a, in a different kind of way to where you can find a process that does work for you. Um, so, yeah, if you <laughs> want to see more of, of this, <laughs> like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and if you feel this was bullshit and rambling and you're I'm now upset with me because I just wasted almost 15 minutes of your life, you can um, share this video with your enemies and just have them waste 15 minutes of their fucking lives. Uh... But if you like this video, share it with your friends. If you hate it, share it with your enemies. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody has a uh, 
good day. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm recording this, but I'm, I'm still posting it. So.